What's up you guys, it is Eric from the Anabolic Aliens. Today we're here to talk about the cable crunch. It's an exercise that you see a lot in the gym. We wanna make sure that we are doing it correctly in order to maximize the effectiveness of that flexion, that abs, those rectus abdominis muscles on the top. Get that six pack. So real quick, make sure you download the app called Popsy. We're gonna be doing some live stream workouts on there, some Q and A's, so make sure you download that right now. But let's not waste any more of your time, get into the video. Michael, time. All right guys, so we're taking a walk over to your typical cable machine setup. Now we're using a bar attachment. You can use any sort of attachment you want, like a rope, etc. Just pick one that works for you. For this sake of this exercise, we're going to be doing is seeing these grips, taking an underhand approach that's gonna allow for our elbows to come down better during this exercise. So right here we're gonna set up. Uh, now typically from this position is where most people tend to screw up the exercise. They have a perfect time setting up. But once they actually get into the exercise, this is what they are doing essentially. So as you come down, they're coming down just like this, right to the floor. It's actually a big range of motion, but the issue is we're not targeting the rectus abdominis. Remember that your abs, those top line abs, their primary function is to flex the spine, creating a lot of curvature. So we wanna make sure that we're as flexible, flexing as hard as we possibly can during this exercise. So now when we go to reset up the exercise, coming here, same exact cues as we come down, bars behind the head, our knees are going to be together, first of all, that's an important thing, because as our elbows come down, we wanna make sure that they have some clearance to get all the way by, so we can really bend our spine forward, flex it as much as we possibly can. So our whole upper body is nice and tight, we're gonna move as one solid unit, we're coming down, so this is where people screw up, usually from here they go to the floor, the issue is we wanna bend back into our body, right into our hips, as hard as we possibly can, and then come all the way back up. And down, and up, down, and up. Now, you'll notice that as I perform this exercise, my head is almost completely upside down. So the top of my head is almost facing the ground. This is ensuring that we have the most amount of flexion. And you can literally hear my voice as I was trying to explain it, that I couldn't talk because I was keeping my core so tight. So remember those top laying abs, those six pack abs, right? are going to be what causes the flexion of the spine and what shows during this exercise. So, one more time, real quick. We'll do a couple of them wrong. So this is the old way. We're here, we're coming down. As you can see, not a lot of tension in my abs. You can literally hear it in my voice. No problem talking during these. Difference right here, now we're going to flex as hard as we can. We're coming in all the way to the hips. Back up. All the way down. Back up. Curving as hard as we can. Ugh. There's much more muscle engagement during that second version that I just showed you. So make sure when you do your cable crunches, you're doing them like that in the gym. The same concept applies to when you're standing, guys. Curl that spine in. So I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video and it helped you and you can go perform this exercise correctly in the gym, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comments section down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you are not already subscribed, I'm so out of breath. Make sure you click that notification bell. That way, anytime we upload a video, you guys are updated and you can go watch it as soon as you possibly can. So until then, guys, I will see you in the next video. See ya.